Hi, welcome to One on the Page. I'm Scott. Today we're doing Stephen King short story rankings. We're doing story 60 through 56. Let's go ahead and get started. I talked previously about we've gone past the really awful ones, Man with a Belly, and we're to the mediocre to decent or good with a flaw uh, most of the stories that I'm talking about this week I enjoyed for the most part but there was something that made it just not reach that upper echelon uh, coming in at number 60 in the book nightmares and dreamscapes it is the house on Maple Street uh, the story was inspired by uh, artist Chris Allsberg or author there are drawings in a book that he had I for some reason I think it's the same guy who did uh, the one Christmas story with Tom Hanks playing many many roles the Polar Express I don't know if that's the same person or not but the name seems familiar and there's a picture in the the book, I believe. Let me see if I'm correct on that. That is the picture that is in the book. So he based the story on the book. Basically about four children. Their last name being Bradbury. Which kind of gives you a little bit of a hint of the type of story it is. It's very much a wish fulfillment story that harkens back to some of the most purple prose type of stories that Ray Bradbury uh, used to write. It's a story that I read when I was much, much younger. I read it when it first came out. I believe it was in was it 1993, maybe? Where was it located? Yeah, okay. It was 93. Basically, these children have an awful stepfather and one of them comes up a way to get rid of them that has to do with the picture. Uh, like I said, it's very much wish fulfillment kind of thing. It's a nice enough story, but don't think it really has a lot of substance to it. Uh, story number 59 is not in a book. It is in a book. I just no longer have that book. I used to have this book. I don't know why I no longer have it. But the story is The Reploids, which was published in the book Night Visions 5. It had three stories by Stephen King. Uh, the other ones, can't remember what both of them. I know one of them is Dedication, which is collected in the book. I can't remember what the other one was. And then three stories by Dan Simmons and three stories by George R. R. Martin. I, I definitely read the Dan Simmons one because I remember uh, Vanny Fucci is alive and well and living in hell, I believe, which is probably my favorite Dan Simmons story. I don't recall any of the stories I read by George R. R. Martin or if I actually read them. Uh, they didn't leave an impression if I did read them because I knew nothing about George R. R. Martin until, you know, Game of Thrones. So, uh, but the Reploids is basically about a man who shows up on stage on the Johnny Carson show back when there was a Johnny Carson show. Uh, and he's the host, except he's a little bit different than Johnny Carson. And basically, type some type of like universe jump where something out of a different universe, alternate universe, shows up. Uh, I, I have to be honest that when I first read it, really liked the story a lot. Again, this is an older story. I read it pretty much when it first came out. I was younger then. I've had more experience uh, with stories in total, with alternate universe stories, uh, different timeline stories. 
like that. Uh, parallel universe, multiverse. This story is fine. There's absolutely no real ending. I've talked before, lots of people talk about King's endings when it comes to novels, which generally I don't have an issue with. But I do think that it does apply often to his short stories where the ending isn't great, or more likely, there's just really not an ending. There's, it's just, it's like hearing a song in, rather than having an ending, an ending that makes sense or a fade out is just like mid verse cut off. And you're just like, what happened? That's kind of what this is for me. I, I generally like most of the writing in it but then it just cuts off and i'm like well, that was not satisfying uh short story number 58 is word processor of the gods published in skeleton crew uh it was first published in playboy magazine in 1983 uh it is about a man who receives a word processor this is back in the 80s when word processors are not what we know now. It's not simply a program that you have on your computer. Uh, I believe in his notes, uh, <laughs> King talks about the word processor he has that was a wang. And jokes to be made about that. Uh, but a man receives a word processor from his late nephew. Uh, of course, he has his own horrible wife and his own horrible child. And he types things into the word processor and they become reality. This, much like The House on Maple Street, this was published earlier, obviously. This is another kind of wish fulfillment one, one that I particularly liked a lot when I first read it. 19 with 1985 I think Skeleton Crew came out I was a teenager then so I was like you know something goes wrong in my life I'm like yeah now much older and I'm kind of like I mean it it's nice but much like the house of Maple Street doesn't have a lot of substance it, it's like cartoonish characters uh his own family his brother's family if i remember co correctly the brother was a drunk uh, uh his brother's wife was somebody that the main character had liked but she ended up with the brother uh, the brother's kid was somebody that he wished was his own kid it's it's nice but again not a lot of substance to it also published in Skeleton Crew, number 57 is Uncle Otto's Truck. It's about a truck that kills somebody. Maybe. It was originally published in Yankee Magazine in 1983. Two men, uh, one of them forces the other one to be crushed under his truck afterward and then he becomes obsessed about this truck and is eventually killed by the truck whether or not it's the truck's doing or whether it's his own doing because of the guilt kind of a little bit open-ended i uh, it, it was a, a decent story i will say unlike uh word processor of the gods which i really loved at the time i not really been enamored of this story i thought it was a fine story i still think it's a fine story uh it didn't drop in in my view like word processor of the gods did but it also hasn't elevated it's basically probably one of the few times where i say the rating where it's been it's probably the rating where it's always been, and it's not one of those stories where I've moved up and down. Story number 56, In Nightmares and Dreamscapes, is Crouchen, 
Uh, Crouch End is a story that King wrote after he spent, I believe, like a year in England. Like, uh, his co-author, Peter Straub, kind of has that restrained type of writing that Straub had. It was originally published in Tales, uh, in New Tales of the C Cthulhu Mythos. Never been able to pronounce Lovecraft's Cthulhu. So it kind of has that setting that Straub's used to. It kind of has the writing of Lovecraft in a bit, although much better if you've ever read Lovecraft. Uh, maybe controversial. Don't think much of Lovecraft myself. I have not read everything Lovecraft has written. I have tried to read many things he's written and quite frankly I get bored so he he does kind of have the the mythology but in a much better form about people who disappear in a certain part of England and a uh, police officer investigating it and then uh it's another story a little bit open-ended it's like what happened well, don't really know, man. You know, mystery and stuff. Spooky. Great atmosphere to the story. But if you're looking for an ending, not particularly type of ending I'm looking for in a story, but uh, a decent story. That is story 60 through 56. We are past the halfway mark. We're getting close to the top 50, which... I broke these up into quarters, technically quarters. Uh, I, I say quarters, but in, in the first quarter, the top stories, there were 19 stories. In the second, there was 30 stories. In the third quarter, there was like 30 something. In the fourth, there were 30 something. So the, it's not an even split that I had between them. But I would say pretty much the top 50 are definitely these are good stories. Some of these are good stories. They just had issues. One, wish fulfillment stuff. It's kind of like lack substance or King and his short story endings. Not novel endings. Generally like novel endings, although I know people who don't. But short story, he does have issues with endings. If some of these stories had had better endings, they probably would have been higher up. So until next time, please like and subscribe, leave a comment.